Dilations. A dilation is a transformation whose preimage and image are similar. Thus, a dilation is a similarity transformation. It is not, in general, a rigid motion. Every dilation has a center and a scale factor n, where n is greater than zero. The scale factor describes the size change from the original figure to the image. So here we have a dilation of a pupil. We have our pupil, and then we have a dilated pupil, which is larger. Similar figures. Remember, two or more figures that have the same shape are said to be similar. A dilation is the result of a process in which a geometric figure is scaled to create a similar figure. An enlargement is the result of a process in which a geometric figure is made larger, and a reduction makes the figure smaller. Two or more figures that have the same shape are said to be similar. When polygons are similar, number one, corresponding angles are congruent, and number two, the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal. A dilation with center r and scale factor n, where n is greater than zero, is a transformation with the following properties. The image of the center of dilation r is r itself, i.e. r equals r prime. For any point on the preimage, say b, then b prime is a point on the image and lies on the line rb. So rb prime equals n times rb, or n equals rb prime over rb. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. There are two types of dilations, starting with this pre-image here. A dilation is an enlargement if the scale factor is greater than one. So here, the scale factor is two, scale factor is three, here is a scale factor of 1.5, so these are all larger than our pre-image. But a dilation is a reduction if the scale factor is between zero and one. So here are smaller images and we have scale factor of three over four, scale factor of one half, scale factor of one quarter. The lowercase n is often used for scale factor. A dilation is an enlargement if n is greater than one. A dilation is a reduction if, if n is between zero and one. What happens to a figure if n equals one? Well, if n equals one, you just have the same figure that you start out with, the pre-image ends up being the image. So here we have n equals one, that's just our pre-image. Here we have n greater than one, that's our enlargement. And here we have an n that's between zero and one, and that's a reduction. Finding the scale factor. To determine the scale factor from L to L, the small uh, blue figure to the large red figure, find the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides. The side of the red figure here over the side of the blue figure will equal n, the scale factor of the dilation. In this example, let's find the ratio of the lengths of the segments across the top of each L shape. So this side and this side, their corresponding sides. So four over two gives us a scale factor n of two. The blue figure is the pre-image of the red figure and the center of dilation is indicated. Tell whether the dilation is an enlargement or a reduction, and then find the scale factor. So here, the pre-image is smaller than the image, so this is an enlargement. And we'll take the red side, 6, over the blue corresponding side, 2, for a scale factor of 3. Here, the blue figures the pre-image, it's larger than the image, so this is a this is in a reduction, so it's not getting bigger, it's getting smaller. But we still take the red side over the blue side, and we get 0.8 as our scale factor. The blue figure is the pre-image of the red figure, and the center of dilation is the origin. Tell whether the dilation is an enlargement or a reduction, and then find the scale factor. All right, so here, the pre-image is larger than the image, so this is a reduction. And so then we can just take, let's take the top sides of each. So this is four, and this is two. So we have the red side, two, over the blue side, four, gives us an n of 0.5, or one half. Here, 
this is an enlargement because the pre-image is smaller than the image. So what can we do here? We can take uh, which side would make the most sense. So this is 1, 1, that's 1, 7. So we know that this side here is 6 long. Since it starts at 1, 1 and goes to 1, 7, a vert it goes vertically 6 units. So we'll take that side and then here it goes from a y-coordinate of 4 up to a y-coordinate of 28. So that's 24. So we'll take the red side, 24, over the blue side, 6, and we get 4 as our scale factor.